Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Lustro from Asmodis. Now this is about £60 mark in the UK. It's a Joule 18650 200 watt mod and it has lights on it. It also has an infrared sensor on it. Why we need these things I have no idea but we'll talk about that at the end. Everything else I'll show you in the close-ups. Now the, the close-ups do go on for a little bit because there are a few settings here so yeah brace yourself. When your mod arrives it's going to come in a box like this. Uh, nothing exciting to report but you will have some technical spec on the back. Inside you will find a warranty card and if you're lucky you'll find a manual. Uh, there was no manual in mine and believe me for this mod that was not good. Now the Lustro is classic as modus. It's it does, it's very similar to the Minikin, but it's very different at the same time. I mean, you can just see yourself there that the, you know, the shape of it is completely different. We do have a USB-C uh, charge point on the front here. Now, they say you can charge the batteries here, but they do also recommend that you should charge the batteries externally rather than charging them in the device. Uh, you can also use this for firmware upgrades as well. We have a nice clicky fire button here. No issues with the fire button and this will light up. We have a light bar here. So you have a, a light that goes up and down when you're vaping and the color on this will correspond to the color on the button as well. We have a spring loaded 510 and I've, I've no issues with that. I've got every atty to work that I've put on here. There we are with a 24mm RDA on it and you can see there's still a gap so you will get a 25mm RDA on there or tank and it will sit on without any overhang. Uh, it's strange, you know, it's the 510 does sit forward a little bit but 25mm will fit. On the bottom we have, that's an LED light of all things, we'll cover that later on and we have some venting going on. On the back we have the Asmodis logo, we have some more venting and this just pulls off like this. It's very, very easy to get this battery compartment off. You can see it's clearly indicated there positives and negatives and we do have a battery ribbon as well. I will say, I mean the door, I mean you'll hear this here, you know, it's a, it's a solid lump of metal. The main body, I'm actually, I'm not sure what it's made of but it's it's not as heavy as the door, it's two different materials and it's not really a heavy mod at all. It's definitely not your usual zinc alloy that we see from China. So I'm going to pop in my batteries here just now. They got in and out no problem, I don't get any damage to the battery wraps, they seem to work okay. And you can see that the door's sitting just with a, a tiny little visible crack there. Um, and it just appears to be on one side that I think there we go. Now push on one side and the, <laughs> the other side kind of opens up a bit. It's not a deal breaker but it's something that I should point out that you do seem to get that little rock or crack appearing there. To switch the screen on we have one, two, three, four, five. It's going to ask you, it's going to prompt you to make sure that you're using paired batteries or married batteries. And by that it means that you're going to want to use two of the batteries, basically the same brand and the same kind of age and they've had the same kind of use. And you just tap the screen, click yes, and then it loads up. Now this one could get kind of busy and this will take a while this one. So uh, buckle up and here we go. Now basically it's the same, it's, it's you know, a minikin touch screen, you know, you've got swipe down. Uh, you can also go into your settings and change it so that you can tap the screen three times and that will also unlock it so you can have swipe down or you can have tap the screen. So just swiping down just now and then I can go left to right and I can swipe through this. This is much the same as you've seen before on the Minikin. Now I'm going to show you something else that uh, they, they made a big deal of this. Uh, I will list this in my, this will go in my negatives, but uh, anyway, there is a sensor in here. So what you can do is you can swipe down and hopefully if I change my angle here, I can get this to work. There we go. I'm sh you can get it to work, but it's, it's, it's just, I don't know why they bothered, but um, I'll show you it later on. Now you can just swipe left and right and you can switch that whole touch thing off which I'm now going to do because it drives me mad. 
And just to show you that, if uh, I swipe up from the bottom, not the top, but from the bottom, like this, then there's a little hand there. I can click on that, and that I can set to off, and that switches that sensor off. But if I also swipe up from the bottom again, you will see there's a little torch there. Push this button here. Yes, we have an LED torch built into the bottom of our device. So in power mode here, uh, if I swipe down, tap the, the wattage there. Come on, there we go. And then I can go up and down and adjust my wattage. You can also change this little rev counter here. You can change it so just by tapping it, you can change it so that it's going to go up and show you the wattage. Or you can change it so that it shows the seconds that you're vaping. It doesn't really matter because you can't see those things when you're vaping, but it's, it's a gimmick. You do have all your battery information and everything else on here as well. What you can also do is you can see there's a tiny little symbol down here. You have hard, normal, soft, and you can actually, when you're vaping away, if you unlock in the power mode, now if I swipe back up, you should see that that's actually changing there. So you can swap through the different modes there as well. And that gives you a little kick when you're vaping. I've just popped an Atti on just now. And just to show you this. And you can change the color here and it will change the color on the button as well. Now in power curve mode, uh, if I just make sure that I'm unlocked, hold down on the wattage there and then it's going to bring up a wattage and seconds. And you can tap on each one here, and then you can manually adjust the voltage or the time settings up and down. It's actually very easy to set on this mod. And down the bottom, we do have the different memory bank settings here as well, so you can swipe up, and it will cycle through your different memory settings. For you temp control guys, we do have TCR and we have TFR settings. So if you want to go in and muck about with your wires and you have memory banks here as well, or you can go into like steamengine.org and you can pick up TFR settings from there as well. It's not something I use. It's not something I will ever use, but it is there. If you want to get into the menu system, if you want to get into the settings, then just one, two, three, four, five, and then you just can swipe left and right and it's going to take you through the different system settings. This one here, this is for setting your resistance on the coil. So if you're, you know, using temp control, pop your cold atty on top and then you can set your resistance in this setting here. This setting here, you can set your how long you can vape for before it cuts off. So we have a 10 second cut off on this just now. This one, you can hit the little padlock and you can s choose to go between slide and click on the screen to unlock it. I can't get the click to work. I'll put it on click just now. We'll accept that. Come back out. Set on tap to unlock. You can see it, it keeps coming up with a, a little you know, tap to unlock. One, two, three. Nothing. One, two, three. Nothing. If I do... It's actually four clicks. I'm sure it's four clicks and, and then you can get in and you can start mucking about and changing things. One, two, three, nothing. One, two, three, nothing. One, two, three, four. There we go. No, no, it's, th it's very, very sensitive and uh, the more often than not, it just doesn't work for me. Back to the settings. So we've got this one here and you can, you know, you can change the colors and that's gonna change the color for your bar here and also for your button. This setting here, if we tap that, then we have an option for real and fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know. All that means is that just now when I push the fire button, see how it's climbing? Uh, that That's fun. Uh, but if I set it to real, it doesn't climb, it just jumps straight to whatever it's putting out. Uh, that's the only difference. And without boring you any further, there's other things where you can adjust the puff count and things like that. But if you want to switch the device off completely, hold your finger down on this button here and it'll shut the system down altogether. It will then take five clicks to switch it back on. 
And whilst you're using the device, it's three clicks to lock everything up and three clicks to bring it back on. Now, where do we start with this? I'll get my big, big pet hates for this thing out of the way first. Uh, that would be the light show. I switch it off. I just don't. Now I'm 48 years old. I live in a shed and uh, I'm a pretty boring kind of guy. So having a light show on my mod is not something that I look for. Obviously this is going to appeal to certain other generations and ages of people, but for me it's not a thing I'm interested in. Just a big no from me. But you might like it. You can change the colour on it. You can have a different colour in the button to the... You, you can muck about with it to your heart's content. So it's there. It's just not for me. The infrared sensor, I kind of feel like Forrest Gump when he sees Captain Dan. Uh, I'm just doing this in front of it. Uh, just swiping left to right and there's just no consistency. It, I, I just, no, it's a fail from me. It's a nice idea. I'd be interested to see how they develop it down the line, but I'm glad it's something you can just switch off and the same goes for the lights. So, you know, this might appeal to certain people. It doesn't appeal to me, so I can only give you a feedback from my perspective. The touch screen. Now I've got to say the touch screen is, for me, does not seem to be quite as responsive as the Minikin V2. Or maybe it's not that it's not as responsive, it's that the areas you tap to change wattage and things like that seem to be a bit smaller. And it just doesn't seem to work as well as the Minikin V2 or the Colossal or all the other Minikin, eh, Minikin, as modus touchscreens. This one just seems a bit flaky. As, you know, I showed you with the touchscreen, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be three clicks. I can tap it everywhere a hundred times and, and it'll eventually unlock, but it's just, once again, it's something that just doesn't seem to be that great. And those are my big massive negatives with this device. Uh, it's, it's a shame on that front because I am, I'm usually a fan of Asmodus mods, but this just has just, on the negative side, there's too many gimmicks. On the positive side, I like the form factor, it's comfortable, I can finger or thumb fire it, I can wrap my hand around it, no problem, and as always with as modest boards, you know, the, the battery, the efficiency on them is superb, and uh, it's, you know, it's almost up there with a DNA, and for that, that's a two thumbs up. Also, whilst I'm not a fan of going in and out of the menu system and whatnot, the amount of control you actually have over the board and what it can and can't do is, is great. You've got TFR and uh, TCR values that you can play about with. Temp control, you can adjust the wattage as well as the temperature, which I always like. Stainless steel 316 build on my test atty. No problems there, it worked well. You can do firmware upgrades. I've already upgraded the firmware on this. I think it's now sitting, I'm on version 2.2, I think it might be, and it takes it up to eight volts. So there are upgrades there, they're releasing upgrades for it and possibly fixes. You can get a 25mm RDA on there with no overhang. The finish seems quite nice, it's, it's not slippy in my hand or anything like that. And from that point it's, it's classic Asmodus, you know, it's, it's in keeping with like the Minikin and so on. It's a good mod in that respect. If I was to take this mod, rip out the light, rip out the infrared sensor, make the screen just a little bit more responsive, then I would give this a thumbs up. I would say it's great. But right now, for me, I would go and buy a Minikin V2. I just think it seems to be better. Um, also, another gripe I have, and yeah, I'm more of a miserable sod, but, you know, the whole rev counter thing and whatnot, I mean, you can't... You, you can't see it when you're vaping. So... It's nice. I mean, don't get me. I mean, I'm a petrol head. I love rev counters, but it's it's just another one of these little gimmicky things. But yeah, whatever sells. I mean, I've got a Corona V8 on here just now, and I 
and it performs flawlessly. I mean, it does perform very, very well. I'm sorry if it seems like I've come across in a major downer in this because I'm an old fart, but it's just, you know, they've made really, really good mods. They really have, and, and this, this feels like a beta version to me. It just needs more work. Oh, uh, USB-C, as I said, you can do firmware upgrades. It's also got a fast charge, you know, because USB-C is going to charge it faster. But once again, they do stay, I mean, and this goes for anything. You should really buy yourself an external battery charger, charge your batteries in there. But that's it for me and the Lustro. Listen, there'll be, a, there'll be loads of reviews out for this thing if there aren't already. Uh, go and watch them. Possibly go and watch a review from somebody more hip, cool and younger and uh, <laughs> see what they say. But guys, as always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. As always, I shall pop a couple of videos over to the side here that you can go and watch. Uh, there's a big button down below me that you can hit and subscribe to the channel. And as always, feel free to leave comments in the video. Catch you later.